Hey, what is going on, guys? I am not in the light. Uh, I'm back. Uh, so I had a little bit of a break after import. Got really burnt out on videos, uploading once a day for three days. I know it sounds stupid, but that's what happened. Um, also, I haven't had anything to do with my car. Uh, I've fixed a couple things because things keep breaking, but it's stuff I've already done. And besides that, I've just been working, trying to get caught back up because I lost a good amount of money not working for five days, um, going to import. So, uh, also, notice I'm using the GoPro, and as you can see everything, uh, the camera, <laughs> my camera broke at Import Alliance, and I sent it out to get shipped, or I sent it out to get repaired, uh, because I, I bought the warranty with it, I wasn't going to buy a camera without a warranty. And it's taken forever. It comes back tomorrow, actually. Uh, I should be getting it back tomorrow, so high quality videos again. Um, videos in general, again, which is awesome. I'm, I'm excited to be recording again. I've really missed it. Um, also got kind of bummed out. I was, <laughs> was going to buy a Gingium Zarek 7, if any of you guys watched Gingium. I was actually in contact with him. Uh, the plan was to go up there and buy it, uh, but he had someone come in to look at it before I contacted him. And we're like, okay, if it doesn't work out, I'll be there and I'm going to buy it. And uh, so the plan was all laid out, I'm going to buy it if that other guy didn't get it, and the other guy bought it. Which really sucks, because I was really hoping to get that, that would have been really cool, it would have been awesome for the channel. But enough of that, I do plan on getting a drift car soon enough, uh, so that will be cool for you guys, a project car of sorts. In other news, I bought wheels, so I'm not going to tell you what wheels I bought yet, uh, but they are being made, and I will get them in about two months from April 2nd. So soonish a month from now or so uh, which is really cool but that's the point of today's video uh, my current wheels don't necessarily fit great uh, they do but they rub on my fender liner and these new wheels are a lot wider than my old wheels are gonna be or than my old wheels so we're gonna cut my fender liners I'm not cutting my fender liners out because I like fender liners they're useful they keep your uh, fenders from getting dented from rocks and stuff they're good for electronics we're just gonna cut and trim what needs to be cut and trimmed. So let's go do that. First time I've not pulled in all the way, which is weird, uh, but I realized I don't have to pull in all the way and it'll give me more room. So, <laughs> not pulled in all the way. Uh, I'm gonna block off my back wheels just because I am gonna have it lifted up and you know, safety first. I've got it in gear and it's um, got the e brake on, but it can never be too safe, boys and girls. where my wheels are rubbing right here which I can't cut through that so I mean it's gonna be I'm cutting this but that's still gonna hit um, right there and then up here so I'm gonna be cutting this and that and I'm gonna be doing that on both sides and then this as well probably
Look at this. They very easily could have routed that wiring harness above that little subframe piece, uh, yeah, that piece. But they went under. So if my wheel decides to eat through here, it's ripperino to that wiring, and that would be no good. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Still got this here protecting that, so that's good. Don't think it'll be too much of an issue with uh, this staying here. I don't think it's sagging or anything. At least not too bad. So yeah, now this fender liner's cut, and I think that is gonna be good. It was this that was really rubbing bad. So time to move on to the other side. There's actually that metal piece right there. So hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. I don't think it will. I hope it won't. Because <laughs> that would really suck. It is rubbing right there. So hopefully it doesn't rub up on that and pop. That would be really bad. Um, but I don't think that'll be an issue. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. So yeah, there we go. Fender liners are cut. Uh, let's go take it for a drive and see if I'm still rubbing. So after pushing it pretty hard around some bends and then also turning really hard in a circle, it seems I fixed it and I don't rub anymore. Which is pretty cool. I can't shift right now because I've got the camera. So that was just a second gear pull and now I have to coast to neutral, which is fun. Uh, but yeah, so it seems like I fixed it. I don't rub anymore, which is awesome. Uh, I, that was my main worry with the new wheels that I'm getting because I'm <laughs> I'm going from 225s to 255s, so let's catch those revs. Uh, I think we're good now, which is exciting because these new wheels are awesome. <laughs> I'm like super I'm super stoked on how aggressive my the stance on this car is going to be now. So let's just go home and I gotta clean up the garage because I made a mess and then we should be good. I don't have to deal with that. So that's all for today. Uh, not much to this video, but it's hard to have a ton of fully full days. I'm going to be going to some meets here in Lexington and recording them. Uh, we actually have a pretty cool car community. Uh, I, I haven't recorded any of the meets before. But I am going to make a conscious effort to do that just so I can show you guys like how to get involved in car culture and stuff in your city because that was one of the things I kind of struggled with was getting into the car scene here and uh, once you do it's tons of fun so uh, yeah I'm glad this worked uh, that's awesome I'm really stoked to show you guys the new wheels once they get here obviously I'll be making a video as soon as it happens as soon as it happens and then I'm also going to be ceramic coating them myself I'm buying a kit and I'll show you guys how that goes so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like, leave a like. If you enjoyed, or if you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. I'm excited to see all you new people who I got from import uh, in the comment sections and just in the views in general. And I'll see you guys next time. If this city was a kingdom, I'd want you to rule with me. So worried for your safety after all our time fool the reef. And I know I'm probably freaking out foolishly. I just don't want the next thing that I write to be a eulogy in your honor. And I know you'd hate it too. All the petty little things that I'd associate with you, like stairwells, night veil, and beautiful smiles, like Tycho instruments in 300 miles, like happiness elated afternoons in the shade.